How you doing? This is our critical analysis of curriculum and assessments. Uh, we decided to choose Benchmark, and I'm going to let Lexi start this presentation. Okay, so we gave Benchmark a level three for readability. Um, we did this because the content is easily accessible and easy to read for teachers. Um, benchmark is also easy to maneuver because everything is labeled and includes how much time should be allotted for each task. We do not feel like it's overwhelming since the topics and activities are clearly labeled with bold headings. The stories are easy to read for the students as well. It has a feature that enables the computer to read the story to the students at different speeds. Students can also use the accessibility feature that allows you to click a specific word to be read aloud. Unit 1, Week 1, Lesson 1 focuses on nature. It includes two short read alouds, multiple vocabulary practice texts, two extended reads, a poem, activities, and an end of the week project. We think the readings are appropriate because they provide the students multiple different types of stories and opportunities to express the knowledge. Here are some examples um, of the readability we pulled directly from the Benchmark website. And so these are just two screenshots um, that just show how easy it is to read off the website and pull from the curriculum. Um, we also gave Benchmark a level three for the quality of the questions because the curriculum poses multi or mostly higher level questions. There are many objectives that can be turned into higher level questions as well. We think the questions provided get a push towards critical thinking. The questions are open-ended and some are closed. This makes the students think critically about what the answer may be. They have to break down the question in order to solve it. Each unit has a section labeled suggested language objectives that provides objectives that align with the state standards. Here are some examples from Unit 1. Academic language skills. Students will be able to orally retell key details and state a main idea. Language forms and functions. Describe mental images based on textual evidence orally and in writing. So here's some more screenshots we pulled directly from the website. Um, this is just a general overview of the different um, quality of questions and questions overall that we see. Um, some of these are from the beginning of uh, lessons and the others are from the end of the lesson plan. Just different ideas that they give teachers and stuff to use in the classroom. For diversity and representation, we gave Benchmark a level two. Uh, we believe that Benchmark curriculum presents, represents a diverse population in relation to authors and characters in the stories. Uh, we also believe that all students can see themselves in the textbook because the stories feature characters from different ethnic backgrounds and the authors come from minority backgrounds as well. Some of the authors from Unit 1 are on the next slide. Um, we also think that socio socioeconomic status and religion are lacking in the curriculum and they're not really mentioned within the stories of activities. Here we have different um, screenshots of the types of authors that we see in the curriculum. Um, different gender, racial, and ethnic groups are showcased throughout. Um, but like Logan previously mentioned, there's not a lot on the socioeconomic status. Um, like we just see stuff from the Inuits, um, just different traditions, uh, different poems from them, and just different areas of the world represented in the benchmark curriculum. This is from Hampton Elementary, uh, just a, a school we pulled from. Um, this just shows the different percentages that are showcased um, from this school district. Um, as you can see, like, there's not a lot of different groups, um, and the majority of the students are white. <clears throat> For elements of literacy, we gave it uh, level three. Uh, there were three main points that I wanted to focus on, which was phonics, vocabulary, and comprehension. Um, for phonics, this curriculum introduces phonics each week in the schedule. There are goals for each week that are taught to the student. And each week changes to different sounds to understand the content being taught better. For example, in the first week, they're tackling long A-E, A-I, A-Y, E-I, 
EA, and short A's. Um, we believe this curriculum introduces phonics at a higher level in an effective manner, and they also line up with what we have been learning in class. Um, for vocabulary, each week there's new vocabulary being introduced, there are high frequency words, and a word study. This includes content related vocabulary and words that they need to know how to spell at the end of the week. And last is comprehension. There are many scaffolding techniques to assist comprehension. There are three methods in unit. One was reading to the students, which introduces picture and vocabulary beforehand for yellow students. The second one is for students that decode with a little comprehension. This involves the students reading with you and then answering who, what, when, where, and why by finding the answers in the text. The third and final strategy was for students that need help with unfamiliar text and comprehension. This strategy involves partner reading and they need to read big chunks of the text. They then ask each other questions to find key details. Joe? Um, here are different elements of literary, literacy that we see in the benchmark curriculum. Um, just different pieces throughout the entirety of the thing. Uh, there's vocabulary, comprehension, fluency. Um, just different things that we see throughout the, the, I guess, the semester that's used for its students when they, when they're using the benchmark curriculum. Um, this is a continuation of that. This is just like weekly readings and skills. Like we see the phonics and word study, um, high frequency words, decodable readings, and the vocabulary practice test. Okay, and to wrap up, here's our final reflection. Um, after thorough evaluation, we believe that Benchmark provides incredible curricula that is suitable for all grades and students. The convenient and well-labeled layout, the higher level questions, the representation of a diverse population, and the presence of many elements of literacy make Benchmark a favorable tool for use inside many schools nationwide. Additionally, there have been several updates throughout the years that allow for it to continue to be used and advance student understanding of classroom content. Um, each member of our group concluded that Benchmark should score highly on each of the components previously listed due to the effectiveness and overall quality of the curriculum.